Um, today, as you can see from the title, um, I will be going to watch Jonathan Isaac from the Orlando Magic. He's an NBA player. Um, he has been going through a rehab in the past two years for a torn ACL injury that he got in the 2020, not the playoffs, but in the 2020 NBA bubble um, against the Sacramento Kings on August 2nd. And a lot of NBA fans have been wondering and questioning Will he make his return? What's been going on with him? You know, it's been two over two and a half NBA seasons. Well, he played about two and a half NBA seasons, and then he's been out for two years. This is, you know, that's a big question. You know, a lot of people, you know, that's not just something you just walk away and, and you come back. You know, he's not Udonis Haslam. He's not finessing the NBA. We're trying to figure out what's going on. To begin, Jonathan is a six foot eleven power forward that got drafted by the Orlando Magic sixth overall in the first round of the NBA draft of 2017. He started out as a defensive oriented player, which he's probably going to span out to be become one. But it's always his offensive game that people have said he needs work on or needs to be flexible a little more on the court to uh, space the floor out. While keeping in mind he is a bigger player, that's where his defense comes in. His nickname is the Minister of Defense, and that's for a reason. This guy knew where to position himself on the court at all times. And coming from a Giannis fan, this is one of my favorite aspects of the game. It's the whole other half of the game. It's the other, other half of the court. You want to apply yourself on that side, you have to apply yourself on this side too. And that's something Jonathan does beautifully. He has a very long wingspan stretching out at about seven foot one. And coming into Orlando, God knows they need that. They need height. They need defense. They need what anyone can give them other than young, young stars. Um, in the past couple of years, they have picked up a lot of great players, including Paolo Bancaro, um, Wendell Carter Jr., and goddamn. Yes, I do forget to say Jalen Suggs and Franz Wagner. Get off my meat. Bull, bull. <sighs> to state the obvious, Isaac hasn't played a full NBA game in two years and has a lot of NBA fans questioning how he will be looking if he makes his return. He's been made as a big mystery in the NBA. You know, what's been going on? He people, A lot of people forget about him and then remember in random moments, you know, oh, Jonathan Isaac, he plays for Orlando. Who is this guy? Where is he at right now? Um, to be clear, there is no confirmation that he is making his return to the NBA, but there are good signs and it's looking very well for him. As of yesterday, I got the news as of January 10th, 2023, uh, from a Woj bomb while I was at the Chick-fil-A parking lot saying that he will be making his debut in the G League tonight um, in a few hours, and he will be playing approximately two games with the Lakeland Magic. And it, it's, a, I guess, an extension to his rehab process. It's a little practice before he gets fully returned into the NBA, but it is looking good for him. All right, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into this game. Um, it starts in a few hours, so I do have time, but I will be uploading or trying to upload the content that I do get in the game. If not, because the NBA, like I said, is very strict on their copyright rules. Um, I'll write down everything that I do see and translate it over into the video. And let's start from there. So without further ado, let's watch this game. Now, if you recall back to what I was talking about earlier, you're going to see it right here. Hops back on the offensive side. Nice quick bucket right back over on the defense. Doesn't lose a step. Now this is one of my favorite plays right here. Great stop, good close out on the three point and don't let them penetrate to the basket. Coaches love it. Great stop, it's like stealing candy from a baby. Let's go. Feed it to him, feed it to him. He wants it. Good shot, boy. Now 
Now this play right here is just flat out exactly why Lakeland won this game. They just wanted it more. Great help defense by Jonathan here. Good drop coverage. You gotta get rid of it. You gotta do something with it. Yup, that's 24 seconds too long, buddy. <laughs> 